are kicking off today's Safari Zone presentation by the lake. Uh, reminds me of Camp Great Times, um, a camp I used to go to back in Jersey. But Shiny Aerodactyl is our first um, shiny day just to start things off. It's been pretty, uh, pretty mellow. So there's an abundance of zigzagoons, carvanas, um, yanmas, a bunch of other stuff. So my main focus is carvana and yanma. Because that seems to be two of like the only Pokemon that are spawning in the Safari Zone, but I never caught a wild Shiny Aerodactyl. I traded for one, but I never caught one in the wild. So that's pretty good stuff right there. 412 CP, so... Ooh, that's Earth Powers. That's awesome. What if it was good? It's god awful. Alright, no big deal. Alright, so great Shiny to kick things off. Um, surprisingly, no special research, but there is um, field research. There are field research tasks, so... Ooh, Ninkata. So that's so there aren't going to be Ninjask spawning in the wild, which would have been amazing. But instead, there's going to be Ninkata from the field research. That's pretty good. All right, now to introduce some of the unknowns featured in the Safari Zone. I believe they spell Quebec, because I've seen Q and this is B. Um, I haven't seen U, but... That's the only one I haven't seen. I'm seeing E. So we're going to go around and get some of these unknowns. Um, I love, love the lower CP unknowns because these unknowns can be such a pain to catch. Especially when you go to these events frequently and you're catching these in mass. Like, they, they get really tough to catch once they get to the higher CPs. Alright, got this unknown. Um, one shiny so far, so got a long day ahead. Next up we got unknown E and I'm still trying to figure out what these unknowns spell. I uh, still think it's Quebec, but uh, there's a couple letters that are missing here, but it's still early, so probably run into some of those missing letters as we carry along today. Um, just keeping a, keeping a steady pace. Now, this event did focus on speed, so I've been trying to keep a certain pace just to make sure that I don't slow down, I don't fall behind myself, which I'm doing a pretty good job at. Um, hasn't been too rewarding just yet, but still early. Okay, so I can pretty much confirm that it is Quebec, because this is C. Um, the only one I haven't seen now is U. I haven't seen C up until just now. I'm like an hour and 20 minutes into the event. So, but this leads me to confirm that it is Quebec. So if you're coming to the event, either, I guess, Saturday or Sunday, um, the unknown spelled Quebec. So I, I spelled that out, figured that out for you guys. Oh, two, um, two dragon type quick move um, I know I just noticed that uh, let's check this stuff real quick I'll just catch it afterward now, the thing is with Yanma this thing is a pain in the neck to be honest you're better off just doing Raz uh, not Raz um, Nana Berries so it will just sit, st sit still and even when it's sitting still it's not easy to catch, especially the higher CP it is. We got lucky that time. Usually I'm not that lucky. Yeah, I knew it was hanging around somewhere. Unknown you at 602 CP here at the uh, Montreal Safari Zone. <sighs> Bug in my face. Oh, and a great throw on the unknown. So I think we didn't, which ones didn't we get? We got, we didn't get Q. And we didn't get Q, we didn't get E. I think that's it. So we're almost done with the unknowns. Not gonna spend too much time on them. I got so many of them. Got the um, golden badge in 2018, 2018. But good stuff nonetheless. Let's get a couple shiny checks in here. Shinies have been slow, man. Wonder how other people have been doing. Should just start asking around. All right, triple shiny check. No mas. All right, so by the lake, we ran into our first shiny Yanma. This is 216 CP. And you know what? This, this might, be a, might be the hardest shiny I've ever attempted to catch. So I got the golden raspberry revved up. Ooh, that was almost a great throw. I really don't know how I managed to do that, especially on the first throw on a Yanma. But that we came here for, that blue shiny Yanma, and looking good. So. Still got to get shiny Carvana. I think Yanma, Carvana, and um, 
Baneri, Yanma, Carvana, and Baneri, if I can get those three, I would consider this very successful. So, making good headway. Wait. Ah, all right. All right, we have struck blue gold as I'm standing on like um, a, a bench right here, but this is our second shiny Yanma, I think less, I think less than five minutes, uh, two back-to-back -back shiny Yanmas after going an hour 43 minutes. Actually, no, over an hour 40 minutes without getting a single shiny Yanma. So this is this is really good, looking good right now. So we have enough for shiny Yanma, shiny Yanma Mega. I want a bunch of these. So if we're good enough to get, we can get two within two hours. Um, we still have like over five hours remaining left to go in this event. So we're we are looking really good. Uh, 15 HP. That's an interesting stat. So we still need Carvana Baneri. But at least we have Yanma taken care of. All right, it's getting heated. 1565 Shiny Scyther. And I only hatched one of these. Remember when we hatched the Shiny Scyther? We were just walking across the street, down the street in Singapore. The streets of Singapore, we hatched a uh, Shiny Scyther. And today we catch a Shiny Scyther. Oh, at least we attempt to catch a Shiny Scyther. I think it just popped out. I don't know how that's even possible. Almost nailed the great throw there. Oh God, this thing is—it's popping out of two. Look at the look at the circle, right? The circle is light green. Golden raspberry ultra ball. Two golden raspberry ultra balls, and it's not going in. Probably because I'm missing balls left and right. I'm missing like a high school quarterback. All right. I think. This will work. Oh man, my throwing is bad. See, sometimes I wish I could set the uh, set the camera on something, so then I can just focus on throwing. This thing might get up and run away from me. Okay. That was close. The thing popped out of two golden raspberry ultra balls with like a light green circle. That's weird. Huh. All right, 1565. Um, please excuse me for those horrible throws. I don't know what was going on there. Feel free to roast me if you want. Uh, real quick, you got an unknown Q at 407 CP. Is my, is my camera too close to my face? No, it's not. <laughs> 407 CP. I uh, believe this is the one. Did we catch? I think we did not catch unknown Q yet. So, didn't get that on cam. So, Q U B E. I think that's it. I think we got all of them. I'll double check, but. I think Q was the last one that spells out Quebec. I mean, these are all, they're all bad. But yeah, I think that's the last one. Um, two Baneri shiny checks. Fun, fun fact, unknown Q, I did have to trade for. Um, there was a couple of situations where I could have traded for like an unknown Q, because I could never find one. And um, I was kind of desperate. That was the one that I was kind of desperate for, because it looked like a key. And I was like, dude, that Pokemon looks so freaking cool. Give me an unknown Q. Somebody traded to me. And uh, eventually I got it for traded Go I think, that, I think that was one of the last unknowns. I think it was Q and Z for the last two unknowns I needed for the gold unknown badge. Anyway, let's keep it going. All right, so this is Shiny Yama number three. And now we've got enough for two Shiny Yamas, Yan Mega. This has turned into a great day. So Fortune's really turned around. Headed out of the second hour, head into the third hour. So just make sure I'm keeping track of everything that's going on, how many shinies I've acquired, how many Pokemon I've tapped on. Uh, I've tapped on a lot less Carvana, which is probably why I don't have shiny Carvana yet. There's been a lot more Yanma in this area, but this is the highest CP uh, shiny Yanma I've, I've collected at 915 CP. And if the HP wasn't completely horrible, I would say this is about like a 85, but it's more of like a 60 something. Whatever. All right, so making good progress. Um, I'm gonna shiny check these Yanmas real quick since we're in their faces. Oh yeah. Also a Baneri on the lure. Oh, okay. So still need the shiny Baneri, but yeah, we we are done with Yama. We have well completed that. So let's keep moving. All right, we gotta show some of the regional stuff some love. So this is a Tropius, 1063 Tropius. I have way too many of these. I haven't even been catching a lot of these because I just, I have too many. 
but I don't have a Tropius from Canada. I don't have a Canadian Tropius, so we'll catch a couple of these. Um, shout out to Tropius, flying around and following me around everywhere I go in these safari zone events. And um, get the Canadian version of Tropius, if that's any such thing down. This is an absolute monster of a shiny. 2,291 CP shiny Aerodactyl here in Montreal. So I think this might be the prize of the day. This might be, and it's weather boosted. Oh, oh, that's why it's the CP so high. All right, I'm on a bench, so my throw shouldn't be that bad. But oh, it's that's it's weather boosted because it's partly cloudy. It switched from sunny to partly cloudy, so that's why it's so high. This is a Brilliant shiny. This is this is catch of the day. If we don't get Carvana, this is this right here, this is catch of the day. 2291 CP shiny aerodactyl. I'm telling you what guys, this adjustment is working. We're gonna keep it on the move this time, but this is shiny Baneri number two. 219 CP. And um we're gonna go with the golden raspberry ultra ball. Yeah. Good stuff. See, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this adjustment definitely works. I like what it did here. And uh, we we could potentially get a lot more shinies. I don't know if we're going to get shiny Carvana, because it's looking pretty bleak on that front. But at the very least, we're going to come away with two shiny Baneeris, two shiny Aerodactyls. Who knows, we may get like a Noah's Ark of shinies. Just a little bit of two of everything. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, I was wondering, I was, I was hoping, I was hoping I would run into a shiny Talo and ladies and gentlemen, to complete the shiny tail of evolution for Tail and Swallow, that is exactly what we did here at the Safari Zone. Shiny tail number two of my career, 186 CP. Um, we're gonna go with the Ultra Ball Toss, and that's it. Uh, now I can finally evolve the other tail that I caught in um, Yokohama. So, got one from Japan, one from Canada. I'm gonna evolve the Japanese one. And we'll finally have a shiny swallow to throw in gym. So that just leaves, what does that leave now? That literally just leaves Carvana. I think we've gotten every single thing. Now we don't have multiples of everything, but we've caught everything except for Carvana. So this is it. This is, this is it right now. Like right here, right now, this is it. We have to get a shiny Carvana before we get out of here. We have to. Okay, we are looking great. Like, we are looking absolutely fantastic. Um, fortunately, we gotta drop the Noah's Ark comparison because now we have three of some things, two of others. But this is our third shiny Baneri. So I, in this Safari Zone event, right, I went from having zero shiny Baneri. I always checked them, just never, never ran into one, never caught one. So I went from having zero shiny Baneri to having three. That is what these events are about, ladies and gentlemen. Getting these shinies, getting the Pokemon that you want to get when you come to these events. That is what it's all about. So, with that being said, we still have business to take care of. We still gotta get Shiny Carvana. I'm still not giving up on it. There's two hours left. Let's see what happens. All right, so with a delicious smoothie in hand. Oh man, that is just literally perfect today. But we got a shiny Sneasel, which I believe narrows it down to is just Carvana's turn. It, it's Carvana's turn, and we got to get it in the next hour. And this is this is it. This is really it. It all comes down to this. Can we get the perfect? This is for a perfect game. Every single shiny that we came in wanting, we got except for Carvana. So, literally, perfect game is on the line. Five o'clock, last hour. Keep it locked, DX1. Um, a lot of duplicates, um, seven shiny Yanma, which is kind of ridiculous. 
but it happened. Um, three shiny Baneri, got a shiny Talo, shiny Scyther, and two shiny Aerodactyls, which equate. Oh, and the shiny Sneasel at the end, which equates to. 15 shinies. 15 shinies today. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think our best. I mean, I don't know. I think the best one is Shiny Yanma, but we have like seven of those, so I don't know. There really is no best one. But very productive day. Job well done. Uh, great day, Pokemon Go hunting and just non stop action. I think it was on my. I don't think I took a break at all. I think it was on my feet for a good seven, eight hours straight. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am tired. A great, great test of wherewithal. And, um, yeah. What else can I say? Canada's great. Great day out here. Uh, stay tuned for more. And which brings us to the question of the video. Did you get a shiny Yanma yet? Because they are available in the wild. So if you're sticking around towards the end of the video, this is the question of the video. Did you get shiny Yanma? Yes or no? Okay. See you next one.